welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name is Rosie and thank you so much for taking a moment out of your busy day to spend a few moments with me. So in today's video, I thought I would do a project share of a little project that I was working on kind of in my downtime. Sometimes what I like to do is just pick up some paper and with no type of like rhyme or reason or knowing where I'm going to go with the project, I just start playing. Sometimes when we're creating, playing is all the fun, right? So sometimes for me, I'll just pick up a piece of paper and with no idea of where it's going to come out, I just start playing and I play and I play and I play until I am done. And in this particular instance, this is what I came up with. It is so dang cute. It is small. Let me see. I'm going to real quickly. Let's see. Five. Okay. So it's three by five. It's absolutely adorable. So let me go ahead and just kind of show you what I've done. So what I decided to do was like a little mini album and I am using the plastic discs. So in the front, I just have a bunch of little paper flowers, some gems, and then I added this little pocket in the front with a paper bow and then, of course, this chipboard sticker. So when you open it, I just have a little a little tag in there, but you can certainly add anything you want. Um, if you're sending this out as part of a happy mail, you can certainly send out little stickers and things like that. And then in the back, on the back, I did not decorate at all. So I left that kind of as is, but I'm loving the two different variations of the paper. So let's go ahead and open it real quickly and I'll show you how I've done the inside. Now I do have two little micro Velcro dots, pink dots, to help seal this shut just like that. And that kind of helps to keep it all contained. And it does stand up on its own because it does have this type of bottom where it secures the bottom in place so it'll stand up all on its own. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up and I'll show you what I've done on the inside. Hey guys, I'm interrupting this video super quick to let you know about a new goal that I've recently established for my channel. Now, I'm looking at attaining an additional 300 subscribers in the next few months. What? I know, I know. It's a lofty goal, right? But I really think that we can do it together. So how can you help? You can help by doing three small things. The first thing is hitting that like button on this video, then clicking on that subscribe button, and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you're notified when I release new videos. And if you're already subscribed to my channel, all you need to do is hit the like button on this video. It's even easier. That's it. Pretty simple, right? Okay, simple things but mean so much. I would really appreciate your support. So. Are you ready to be on this goal journey with me? All right, let's do it. Okay, back to the video. Honestly, I have to tell you, this is just the cutest, I mean, cutest little project. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it. So when we open it, on the inside, I created this little shaker, added some ephemera, cut out some um, different designs with my metal dies, and again, just created this little shaker. Then when you and then on the inside, it's blank so that you can add any crafty yumminess that you want to include. So here I have two plastic discs. And then what I did was almost like a Rolodex kind of idea here. So I included three, let me see, three or four, four different pages. So they look like this. So here's the first one. You open it up. And you can include different things. Here is the second page. Isn't that pretty? And I had all of these embellishments already ready in my stash. So it was fabulous. I was able to just go to my embellishments area, 
pick out some different embellishments of different clusters and include them. And as you can see, they all kind of go together. So I think it's a popular myth that you have to have that particular collection's ephemera to go with it. You really don't. You can add any ephemera to any um, project and honestly it'll probably come out absolutely beautiful so there is that one and then here is my third page and then my last page and then here is the back of my little pouch so just included that open it up and then we have this really pretty frame with this little design of the girl and I included some different things in the back just to give it some dimension so honestly, like, like you can see, there is tons of places for you to add little things. You can include a gift card if you want in here. You can make this kind of like a little mini album and add little pictures to each of the pages. You can include it as happy mail and include little um, crafty goodies to your recipient. Tons and tons of ways that you can use this. And I love how it's stands up on its own so you don't have to worry about how it looks doesn't that look so cute so again sometimes it's just fun to pick up a piece of paper and just without any idea of where it's gonna go just start playing just have fun and see where the project takes you sometimes it takes you to a really great um ending project and sometimes you're like you know what this didn't quite work out and that's okay because that just means that next time you know what you either like don't like will work won't work you know what I mean um so anyway there is that little project I thought I would share with you all I absolutely love it. I plan on sending this out with some happy mail. So um, I'm going to be including some different things in here. I thought would be really, really cute. All right, guys. Well, that's all I have for you today. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you have, guys, thank you so much. Your support goes an awful long way in helping my channel out. All right, guys. Until the next time, stay safe, be kind, and keep it creative.